Hello everybody, so got another comic book and action figure haul for you. Uh, we're going to start with the comic books and uh, we're just going to jump into it. So first up, I didn't get a ton of comic books this week, or this couple weeks. Um, so Supergirl number 17, Art Germ cover. Uh, it's probably one of my favorite, well, yeah, probably one of my favorite Supergirl covers he's done so far. I'm really looking forward to 18, the retro Supergirl. So... Uh, next up, uh, Amazing Adventures, The X-Men number one. Uh, I got it because um, uh, it's probably the closest I will get to an X-Men number one. So thought I'd just grab it. Um, Lola number three. Just thought it was really good artwork. Uh, I've been buying these books. Or number six, sorry. I've been buying these books, but I've yet to read them. So I've heard good things about it. But one of these days I'll jump into it. Uh, this is a story I'm really excited to start because I absolutely love the old man Logan stuff. Um, so I cannot wait to start Hawkeye, old man Hawkeye number one. Uh, kind of want to see how he loses his eyes or goes blind or whatever. Um, so really excited to start that one. Uh, Phoenix Resurrection. Uh, this is the variant edition. Uh, Mark Cicchetto maybe did those. Uh, I can't remember. Uh, but it's a connecting covers. Um, I didn't know about them until number three, so I've still got to go back and find two and one. Hopefully I'll be able to run across those. Um, this is from Unknown Comics. It's one of their exclusives. Uh, it's a J. Scott Campbell book uh, with Mary Jane and Black Cat. So I really like this book a lot. Uh, this is one of my favorites in the haul. Uh, Phoenix Resurrection Art Germ cover. It is hands down my favorite Art Germ cover that I have right now. Um, so that is all of the comic books that I got. So I'm going to slide those over. Knock my camera off almost. Um, first up, where to start? A couple of Transformers. Uh, so I picked up this. Uh, Power of the Primes Dinobot Slash. And I got this Power of the Prime Slug. Uh, these are the only two I've been able to find so far. Um, I had them. I had Grimlock and Swoop in my Toys R Us cart, and when I went to check out, the Grimlock and Swoop were already out of stock. So waited too long looking around trying to fill my cart for you know try to get that free shipping. Um, next up, I uh, did pick up a Bosk. I don't have a huge vintage Star Wars collection, but I've got a couple, and uh, I'm wanting to get uh, the first 12 and all of the Bounty Hunters and a couple other random ones, but yeah, so picked him up. Uh, next up, uh, something I'm really happy about, uh, Ren and Stimpy. Um, so I got uh, 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 Stimpy, sorry, I spaced. <laughs> uh, but he comes with these little nose goblins and a uh, little jiggly butt. <laughs> uh, really like this though. I thought it was, they were really cool, and for ten bucks, I was really happy to have them. Um, although those things kind of cost me getting the uh, other Transformers because I was in the process of putting those in my cart when the others uh, ran out of stock. So uh, then I got uh, Ren. Um, what is the name of that fish? What is, what was that name? Uh, includes Muddy Mudskipper, yeah. Um, so I'm really happy to have those guys. I just think they're kind of fun. Kind of nostalgic. Uh, next up, um, I picked up a couple little kind of statues, I guess. Uh, I guess I'll move that thing out of the way for now. Um, picked up this, uh, Key Keeper Deadpool. Hold on, I know the statue's not in here, I'll show it in a second, but they're showing you the box. Um, it's just, these statues, they're, they have this thing where you can, uh, basically put your keys on it and kind of store your keys here. I won't use it for that. I'll probably pop that little thing off so it doesn't look like a key thing, uh, or a key holder. Um, but the statue's really cool, so I'll grab him and show you the statue. Uh, he actually, oh... If stuff stops falling off of him. Of 
Um, so here is the statue. I'm gonna slide some of this stuff back. All right. So for a thirty-dollar statue, I picked it up at a GameStop, but I'm pretty sure there's other places you can get him from. Um, he's actually really detailed. Doesn't have a ton of weight to him, but you know he looks really good sitting on the shelf. Um, all the detail on the swords and everything look really good. Uh, I mean, all overall, I mean, he's just a really good figure or statue. Sorry, it's late at night. I'm snowed in, so that's why I'm doing this uh, haul video right now. Um, I'm so kind of been bored all day and kind of tired. <laughs> uh, anyway, so that's Deadpool. We'll just put Bosk on Deadpool here. Uh, next up, um, picked up uh, and uh, I guess he's kind of moved around in the package a bit. But I picked up uh, this medieval spawn figure. It's one of the spawn figures I've been wanting that I didn't have. Um, he's uh, never been opened, but this card is extremely yellowed. So I think I'll open him um, just because he's coming loose inside the package and the plastic's all jacked up. But one of these days he'll probably get opened up and put out on a shelf. Um, so next up picked up uh the mutant leader um he was six bucks and i thought he would look cool with my um mezco dark knight batman kind of staying in in the background um he may need a little bit of uh some paint detail on him like maybe just do like a dark wash on him because he's kind of lacking in the paint department uh especially since those i don't know yeah there's there's no doesn't look like there's any extra real paint on him um but anyway so I picked him up. Uh, next up, I picked up one of these. Uh, a lot of people don't remember this. Some people do. Uh, it's King Arthur and the Knights of Justice. Uh, this is the Warlord Slasher. Um, I've got most of the figures except for Viper, but I need weapons for basically all of these guys. Um, uh, something you guys may notice is a slime pit, and I think even the horse uh, they're both from the He-Man line. I know for sure the Slime Pit is. Uh, I don't know about the Boulder Bash thing, if that was a He-Man reuse or not. But it was a carded figure for, I think I got him for like five bucks. So uh, I was fine with that. Uh, next up. We'll do uh, this. So it's... Uh, McFarlane, 11 from Stranger Things. Uh, this might be... I can't remember the last time I bought a McFarlane toy. Uh, it had to have been when they were doing the Spawn line still. I bought some older figures here and there that were McFarlane, but nothing in the last few years. Uh, I don't like too many of the properties that he's been doing. So, um, yeah. But I do like that. I probably will get the other, the rest of them. I uh, will definitely be getting uh, the Demogorgon when it comes out. I would really like to have Hopper and uh, maybe Dustin, but I don't know about if I'll get all the kids. Um, even though, I don't know. I might get the whole set. Who knows? But definitely the Demogorgon. Um, next up, I did pick up this. I'll show you the box first. Uh, Star Wars Black Series uh, Centerpiece. Um, I really wanted this when it first came out, but they were ridiculously expensive. Uh, it says I got this one for 24 at Target, but I actually, because of someone on Reddit, I seen that they got theirs for 14 So I went up to the counter and talked to the manager and was able to get this one for 14 So I'll show you what he looks like, and he looks pretty damn amazing. Uh, move this away here um, he looks really cool uh, he lights up uh, he will look really really good with some other figures standing around him and they have all these little peg holes kind of everywhere on here um, you can kind of see them there uh, so you can actually take some of these pegs off of the bottom here and put your figures wherever you want them um, so I thought that was really cool 
and yeah, he's really cool. And then I picked up Luke. I have not opened this one yet. Um, so I picked up Luke. Um, one of these days I'll actually open him up. I just haven't had a chance yet or haven't done it yet. Uh, but this was the one I actually wanted. I actually wanted this one more than the Vader. Uh, this one I had to pay 25 bucks for, but it was basically half price of what they originally were. So I'm glad I waited because I basically got them both for the price of one. So, um, yeah. So I'm going to set him down here. And uh, up next, I picked up um, Blackout. Um, I got him and another figure I'm getting ready to show you for, uh, 50 bucks together. Uh, this packaging is kind of warped, so he's basically a loose figure, but even loose, uh, this blackout usually goes for like 75 or 80 bucks. Um, but either way, even if I paid 40 bucks for this one and 10 for the other one, uh, it was a good deal to me. Um, I don't know if once I have room in one of my transformer shelves, he will be opened up. And then I can just save the box or pitch it or whatever because it's pretty wrecked. But yeah, so I was happy to get that guy. Uh, and then with him, I also picked up an animated Starscream. And uh, I was really, really happy to get this guy. Uh, that's just such a fun little figure. Um, just really cool. I would love to have a second one of these. So I can do a G1 paint job on it because, I don't know, I always I, I always thought he needed the G1 paint job. And I think uh, with white, he would really stand out well. So uh, glad I got him. And next up, I got Oil Slick from the animated series. This was uh, uh, basically the last figure in this haul video. So, um this guy is really cool. I like when they look like an actual action figure, and this looks like an action figure. Um, so I'm really happy I got him. Uh, he was always one of my favorites in the toy line, at least. Maybe not in the cartoon, but definitely in the toy line. Um, but I'm happy I got him. If he'll stand. Uh, so that is the end of my haul video. Oh, wait. No, I got a couple more. Um... So I picked up a couple of these Mega Blocks off Toys R Us for two bucks piece. So that finished my at least the four part of my um, comic book figures. Uh, so Leonardo, Raphael, and Michelangelo. I already had Donatello. So uh, those for two bucks a piece. I was pretty happy with that. Um, but anyway, I appreciate you guys sticking around and watching. Um, I'll try to get this. Uh, video when I get this video uploaded uh, my next projects I'm gonna be working on is I'm gonna do I still want to do an action figure collection update so you guys can see the whole action figure collection in here uh, then I still want to do I'm gonna build some of these um, mega blocks kits while I go over my favorite figures of 2017 and figures I'm looking for in 2018 and comic books I'm looking for in 2018 so uh, stick around for those like subscribe I'd really appreciate it um, just if you like toys comic books just please quickly give me a thumbs up and I really do appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this you guys are awesome thank you for all the comments eventually I will respond to all of them I'm sorry I haven't um, <clears throat> but I will get to it so thank you very much for sticking around and I hope you guys have a good day thank you